Hello and welcome to Kingmaker Rise to the Throne. This is Jewel Smith and it's Try It Tuesday, which is the day when I try out games I've never played before. This is a free trial of Kingmaker on PlayStation 4. Not sure how long it will last. Usually these free trials last about an hour. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, depending on how fast I am with the puzzles and how long the game itself is. If it's a real long game, I think they give you a little more time in the trial if it's a shorter game. These games, these point-and-click puzzle games, tend to... I don't know, I think they go anywhere from maybe four to six hours or so, depending on the game. And again, depending on how long it takes you with the puzzle. Sometimes it takes me quite a while with some of these more challenging puzzles. Kingmaker Rise to the Throne looks like it just came to PS4 in December of 2018, which was just about a month or so ago. Uh, but it, I think it's been out, it looks like it was on Steam in May of 2018, so it came to Steam first. So it's a relatively recent game. Some of these Artifacts Monday games that I try out, uh, that's the, uh, the company that publishes these games, that makes these games. Um, sometimes they've been out for a while <laughs> and I'm trying out a free trial on PlayStation of a game that's actually been out for a few years, but this one is pretty new and I'm excited to play it because it's a medieval setting. It's about two royal knights who are tricked into a conspiracy against the crown. That's what I know about it. I don't know if it's on Xbox. Like I said, I, I can find the Steam page for it. I have the uh, PlayStation trial for it. And I know it's available on PlayStation. But I'm not sure if it's on Xbox. I can't find any information about that. But if you're on Xbox and you want to look into it, Go check out, uh, I guess, whatever the equivalent store is for you. Windows Store, Xbox Store, whatever it is. See if you can get it over there. Alright, let's press X to start and see what happens. I haven't been given any options for changing the volume or anything like that yet. This title uses autosave, okay. Well, that's a pretty cool little autosave icon. Oh, here we go. Unlock the full game, new game, options. Let's check out the options. Oh, they've already got it with the music turned down a little bit. The sound turned down and the brightness turned down. Let's turn up the brightness just a little bit. My TV tends to be dark. I am playing it on my television, but I am watching the chat room on my laptop right next to me. And let me hop over to Twitter and send out the message that I am streaming for those who follow me on Twitter. Yeah, I've played a lot of Artifacts Monday games before, point and click puzzle games. Sometimes I just play the demos or the trials. Sometimes I play the full games. I've played Clockwork Tales. I've played Nightmares from the Deep, Eventide. Back around Halloween, I played a couple of games. There was one called Dark Arcana, about a creepy haunted kind of carnival. And there was one called Enigmatis, The Ghosts of Maple Creek. Those are good. They make good games. I enjoy them. I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit and the sound up a little bit. All right, let's accept. Are you sure you want to reset the settings? No, I don't want to reset the settings. Okay, I just gotta close. Alright, there we go. New game. Rise to the throne. That's what we're playing. The Act of Deceit. Yes, there's always these little bonus levels that you can unlock after you play the main game. And they're really cool. They give you some additional information about the, the story of the game. And the stories in these games can be really interesting. We'll go with casual. You are hereby sentenced to death by hanging to be carried out immediately. Oh no. Alas, I should thank you, for tomorrow the kingdom will be ours. All right, well, the end. GG. <laughs> oh, okay. Earlier that day. Oh, 1039. Okay. Move cursor, yes. 
I understand how these games are played. Talk to characters. Brother, you finally caught up with us. The king is still brooding over the failed hunt, and this holdup isn't improving his mood. Why did the caravan stop? Has something happened? The bridge has been raised. We tried shouting over to the other side, but there was no answer. Something is wrong. Talk to the king, squires. Open notes to see objectives. Okay. Current objective, speak with the king. All right. So we have our objectives here in this little notebook. We have the crown. We haven't unlocked what that is yet. And if I had to guess, the uh, the scroll on the right there is probably going to be a map that we will get at some point. Ah, the Ulmer brothers, sons of my most trusted advisor. Finally, someone who can get this caravan moving. I promised the queen I'd arrive before sundown. I mustn't be late. Don't worry, your majesty. We'll handle it. Oh, so this is the king. Okay. Do you have any ideas, brother? Let me get my gear and we can look around. Here, take your sword. Oh, cool. Okay. Interact. Collect item. My faithful blade. Look closer. At the horse's butt? Oh, okay. Use item. Alright. Ah, slide the symbol tokens to their matching slots. Select a token to move it... Come on, look at the instructions. To move it to an empty slot. Yes, these are puzzle games. Sometimes they'll be hidden object puzzles. Other times they're just brain teasers. Hello, Mitchell! Welcome to the chat room! Thanks for stopping by. So we need to uh, do what exactly? Select. Interact. Okay. Do we have to match them up with the colors? Maybe that's what we need to do here. Oh, I see. Okay. gonna assume they have to be matched with the colors. Yes! In my saddlebags there is, I don't know what that is, and some rope. Use hint. No, I don't want to use a hint right now. Alright, I can look in my inventory. Oh, it's a whetstone. Okay. And rope. Yes. Alright, fine. I'll use the hint. Okay. Thank you, game. It's a long way down. Ooh, we found a little crown. Okay. Hold to proceed. We're going to go down to the riverbank. Uh, come, help me turn the boat. All right, but be careful with it. It looks really old. Has a hole in it. We have to patch it up. I'll look around for something. Oh, okay, so we have to repair the hole in the boat and then we're gonna sail across, maybe? No use in going back. We have to find a way to lower the bridge. Alright, hello. There's a little king in his arm there. Inner pick. Okay, what are we getting? Uh, looks like a fish. It says one of two. Use. Interact. A king without a crown. Oh. Okay.
Okay, let's put the crown on him. Now we can take this, which I guess will be important later. Fish token and a king figurine. Okay. I guess we're all done with that. What's in the boat? Something round goes here. Okay. And we have to repair the boat. Alright. Ooh. What's this? It won't budge. What in the world is that? I don't know. Can we use something? Oh, it's a draw knife. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, there was one of those in Skyrim that you had to use to collect canticle bark from some trees during the uh, Dawnguard quest line. Hello, I Stella. How are you doing? <laughs> it is frosty cold here, let me tell you. We don't have snow, but it's been very chilly. It's been below freezing. Hey, my name is Jeff. It says, what's up? The Jeff is back. Well, thanks for coming back. Good to see you. I'm doing another point and click game. This time it's a medieval themed one. A small plus symbol on the item indicates that you can inspect it closer and interact with it. Oh, okay. Select the item with a plus sign and press to examine it. Yep, that's a draw knife. The blade is dull. Ah! We're gonna use the whetstone to sharpen it. There we go. Now we have a sharpened draw knife. Nope. Alright, let's go up to the water mill. Uh-oh. A lot of broken down stuff here in this medieval village. Oh, another figurine. This could probably be shaped into a handle. With the draw knife? Okay. Looks like an axe handle, maybe. Hold O to go back, okay. Nope. Oh, great job tying down that rope. Sorry. Well, I tied the knot tight. It couldn't have come undone on its own. Uh-oh. There's treachery. Looks like it was cut off. There's been some treachery. What can we do here? Abandon or not, maybe I can find something useful inside. door is stuck. Maybe I can force it off its hinges somehow. The handle? No. I guess I can't use brute force. I am not brute enough. Uh, <laughs> Jeff saying it's 60 degrees where you are in Florida? Well, I'm not too far away. I'm in North Carolina. But we've had a little cold snap here. Oh, looky here. Let's use our figurines. The Chancellor and the King. Ah, now we have the little water wheel to go in the boat. Is that it? Nothing else to do here? Okay. Zoom in. Still can't get that thing. Alright, let's put the water wheel in here. Ah, what did we find? Something that we can examine in our inventory. Didn't it say we could examine it by... I'm pushing buttons. Oh, there we go. Zoom. Interact. Ooh. What is that? I can use this hide to patch the boat. 
But I'll need something to attach it with. Like resin, maybe? What did I find? A metal frame. Hmm. It looks kind of like a belt buckle, sort of. Alright, well let's try to get in here to the water mill. So I don't think we have anything we can use here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was an axe head. Okay. And now we actually have a dull axe. Oh, and I don't have my whetstone anymore. Apparently that's fallen out of my inventory. Because, of course, we all know whetstones are just one-time use. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, maybe we can go chop through the door now. Sparkles! Oh, nice! Your day off is Thursday, Istella? Is that when you're gonna do your camp tour? I'm looking forward to it. Pick up the saw. Use the saw to cut the boards. Okay. Uh, we're looking for objects here. This lock has a specific shape missing. Alright, so we're looking for... It looks like a... Is that a dead bird? Not much use without some steel. It's dry. I could make some tinder with it. Perfect for grinding, right? Oh, I've got another rope now. I need something hot to scrape off this resin with. Okay. There's a fireplace back here. What does this say? Uh, is that wheat? Putting wheat into a cauldron on a fire. Uh some sticks with resin maybe? Boil them to make a pot of resin? Looks like a recipe for some kind of glue. <laughs> Is it vegetable starch like in Fallout 4? Alright. Firewood won't be enough to light a fire. Alright so we gotta try to find... well they wouldn't have matches in medieval times. Oh, we need the nails. We need nails now. What's in here? I can't fish this out. There! That looks like a mechanism to go on a box. Yes, and there are the nails. And here is a handle of some kind. Alright, let's hammer in the nails. All fixed. Now we should be able to go up here. Ah, yes. Into the loft. And pick things up. Let's grab that. Uh oh. What just happened? What are we trying to do here? I don't know. Go back, go back, go back. Uh, okay. There's that one. I assume we just have to find the ones that match. There's that one. interesting take on a hidden object puzzle. Right, so now we have wheat. Aren't we supposed to put wheat into the fire? Or into the cauldron? 
Uh, let's see here. What is this thing? Maybe this? Not the best item for the job. Why not? Isn't that what we use? Is that a planer? Or I don't know what that's called. But you use it to like uh, smooth out a wooden board, right? Anything back here? Alright, well, let's get started with this. Let's try putting the wheat in there. It was worth a shot. No, I thought it said put in the flour. Oh, we gotta grind it up first. Maybe we have to turn the wheat into flour first. Back here was a grinder. Okay. Ah, okay. Not sure what that was all about, but alright. Got it. Now we have flour. There we go. Now we can put... Uh... No? Okay, we're, we're making like kindling so we can start a fire. Oh, right. Flint, right? Is that what it's called? Flint and tinder? Okay, we've got the fire going. We put the flour in. I need to follow the recipe. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Oh, we're taking that. Ooh, that looks like some kind of scraper. Maybe we can use that to scrape. Yep, we got some resin. Or some sap off of that. Put the sap in there. Now we have resin. We have glue. Right. Yay. Yes, I accept. I accept your glue game. I've made this wooden board for the patch. Did you find anything? I did. I found leather and some glue. Oh, well, do we have to get the, the board from him first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we have to use the resin first. There has to be something better I can use. He said I made this board for the patch, but where in the world is the board? I'm not seeing a board. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Hang on. Inventory. Now let's use the glue on it. I see what they're trying to do there. Got it. Improvised patch. Alrighty. So now what? We need to get across to lower the bridge. Got it. Oh, okay. We can just go now. We're on the riverbank. Return to the king and protect him. Uh-oh. What happened here? He was shot in the back. And it seems not long ago. We should hurry. Anything else to interact with here? You never know in these games. Take a quick look around. Use the keys. Yeah, let's go. It looks like an ambush. We must lower the bridge quickly. Oh no. I hope that the king is all right. What's going on here? This coat of arms looks familiar. Three boars, huh? I'll take that chain. Oh no. Poor fellow, he didn't stand a chance. I'll take that. Use. 
patrol route. I guess I had to put the chain in place to lower the bridge. The bridge is down, let's go! No, we're too late. Oh no, the king's gonna be dead. My cape, why is it here? The king is dead? I can't believe it. Who could have done this? Oh no. What? Someone is trying to frame us. The king is dead? I can't believe it. Who could have done this? The king is dead? Okay, okay, okay. I can't believe it. Who could have done this? Well, well. What do we have here? Two king slayers. We've caught you red-handed. Surrender now or die. Randall and I are innocent, and you know it. By drawing your sword, you just admitted to your crimes. What? Kill them! Once you're done, bring them to the castle. <laughs> or what's left of them. <laughs> Uh-oh. Trace all the lines between the dots without crossing the same line twice and match the given shape. Oh my gosh. I have to solve a puzzle in order to fight this dude? in the world am I going to do this? Oh man, I don't know how, I don't have any idea how I'm going to do this. Oh, I can start anywhere. Okay, I don't have to start in the corner. Alright. There we go. Figured it out. Oh, dang. They're getting more complicated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this game. Hang on, dude. Hang on while I do this puzzle. It's fine. Oh my gosh. No, let's start here. Yeah. Go around the outside. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go for it. We got him. Find a safe route from the village to the city. The rest of the party will catch up soon. Shield. Patrick will surely put the blame on us. We should leave. Okay. He set us up. We need to get out of here. And fast. The rest of the party will be here fast. We should run. Alright. Fly, you fools. Oh no, what's the matter? Oh, we must get to father. 
He'll help us clear our names. I'll take the horse and throw them off track. You take the longer route through the village. Lay low. I'll wait for you at our home. Good luck, brother. More guards are coming. There's no point going back there. Okay. High perch, squalls, and village. More guards are coming. There's no point in going. The cap, to the capital to the left, and a fishing village to the right. I think he's taking the horse this direction. And I guess I'm supposed to go to a bag of coins. Okay, one of 29 bags of coins. All right, I didn't know that was a thing. Looks like I can't go anywhere else, so I will head to the village. Oh, and that's it! That's it. That was over very quickly. Wow. That was pretty short. <laughs> that was what? Maybe half an hour? 45 minutes? Well, I did say sometimes these last about an hour... They can be pretty short. Interesting. All right. Well, that was Kingmaker Rise to the Throne. Become the trusted hand of the king. Stop the usurper from getting the crown. Fight against the queen's henchmen. Save your family's honor and your brother's life. Well, it definitely looks interesting. It's interesting that there's more voices in this one, the voiceovers. Well, some of the Artifacts Monday games do have more voiceover um, and, and characters and interactions and things. Uh, the puzzles were really interesting, creative, and it looks like I'm playing a dude this time. Usually in these point and click games, the protagonist is often female. Not that it makes any difference, I'm just observing that it does seem like it's usually a female detective or a mother or a daughter or a granddaughter or, you know, someone like that trying to, to save a family member. But this time we have two brothers. I thought that was pretty interesting. What did you guys think? I don't know if I'm going to continue playing it immediately but it might be one that I come back to and finish sometime when I'm looking for just a casual more relaxing fun game to play but right now I am working my way through Horizon Zero Dawn and I'm still doing some Skyrim and Fallout and some other things that I have lined up that I want to play so um, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves thanks for being with me on this journey if you are having a good time, you know how YouTube works. Leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends, and join me for another live stream. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye!